Hello, everybody. My name is Edgar, and I interviewed an individual named Cesar Sanchez, a 30-year-old who pursued theater with a great deal of passion, but eventually came to the conclusion that he needed to find something a little more, a little more stable to better provide for him and his family. Nevertheless, theater is a very important part of his life, and still is. It's now a means of decompression. Um, but when he was younger, gave him um, gave him an avenue to become a more confident individual. So I felt that it was very important to better understand his past, his background, in order to understand or, or justify um, how his character evolved or adapted, uh, how his personality changed over a given period of time. Caesar explained that he came from, from a very poor upbringing. Single parent household. My father left us when we were young. I uh, had two older brothers, one younger brother. That his mom was um, a single mother. Uh, that his father had abandoned him and his brothers from a year, very young age, um, and that in order to in order to limit the exposure of the um, the gang culture that kind of surrounded her poor neighborhood, uh, Mama decided to keep them entertained and with various extracurricular activities, uh, whether they be sports or that which Caesar is a little more enthused by, theater. So what Caesar mentioned was that theater gave him the means of breaking out of his shell. Caesar was kind of sandwiched between a more dominant brother and a younger brother who was given more attention, thus leaving him as a, a more shy member of the family. But through theater, he was able to break out of that shell, break out of that persona. Because on stage, while playing uh, comedic roles, he was more or less required to be silly, to get the attention of the audience. Um, and he eventually ended up adapting this to his very personality. So one of the questions that I asked was, how does theater relate to your life? And he said, my life related to theater. His life his personality became his stage character because it was more fitting. Uh, it made life easier, right? Because he was able to use those skills to break the ice of conversations. He was able to crack a joke in order to keep conversations going with individuals. Now he's a very boisterous, uh, very extroverted personality that can kind of keep a conversation with anybody. <clears throat> so, then I asked him, what's one of the most difficult parts of theater when you first started? I don't think it's in my fear specifically about public speaking. I think it's pretty much everybody. I don't think anybody is born with the ability to just jump in front of a crowd and just start, you know, acting out a different character than who they are. They're really... And he explained something that I thought was pretty incredible. He mentioned that uh, the most difficult thing is public speaking. And he didn't necessarily compare it to his own fear, but that of like human nature. He explained that most people find it very difficult to go on stage, that it's a very natural, very human emotion to simply just get nervous whenever going in front of a group or a group or an audience, something that most of us can relate to. So I asked Caesar, how'd you, how would you overcome your fear of public speaking? How should I overcome the fear? What should I present to the class? And he said, begin to see it as a thrill. Begin to enjoy the adrenaline rush of being up on stage, of, of the gazes, of the butterflies. Um, and he explained that he didn't necessarily only use it while acting on stage. You'll get the adrenaline rush on any form of presentation whenever you're in front of any crowd. So we can use it uh, in class, in some form of discussion. You can use it when you are working and you're giving some form of safety brief in front of six workers. Or should you have the opportunity to present a multi-million dollar project in front of company heads? Uh, what theater brought to his life was a confidence to speak in public, to speak in front of a group, a group or a crowd. And it's something that um, is incredibly useful for the professional world even outside of theater. And finally, what's in store for Caesar's future acting career?
not really looking for much. Just want to give it a shot, see see if I can get back into it, and uh, uh, you know, perform a time or two, get those butterflies in the stomach, get the heart fluttering again, uh, and see if I can, you know, overcome the blackout session. I hope that you might join me in wishing him the best of luck in overcoming his blackout sessions while on stage. Thank you.